There was a girl called Hallie. She lived in a little town. She knew how to hack, and she helped her friends hack into things. One day, her old friend asked her to hack a very important server. He promised to pay her a lot of money. Allie thought for a long time, but she agreed. She made a plan and started to work. She got into the server and found information about creatures that protect the earth. But she kept hacking other things. She started getting messages from people who told her to stop, but she didn't. Holly didn't stop hacking after she hacked an important server. She hacked systems and devices and felt strong. But then she noticed something strange. Her phone started to act weird. Messages appeared on the screen that she couldn't delete. Apps opened by themselves. One night when Holly was at her computer, researching another system, the screen went dark. A message said, you crossed the line. Allie tried to turn the computer off, but it didn't work. The screen came back to life with strange symbols. She heard a noise in the apartment. Allie looked around, but she saw nothing. The light started to flicker, and a strange sound came from the computer. Hallie's heart beat faster. She wanted to turn off the computer, but it wouldn't work. Hallie tried to pull the chain off, but it was strong. She felt scared. Then she heard a scream from her phone. It wasn't a recording, it was someone crying for help. The shadows in the room started to move. There were ghosts, scarred faces, and empty eyes began to float out of them. These creatures seemed to be made of pure terror. They reached out their clawed hands to Hallie, their whispers getting louder, filling her mind with nightmarish vision. Hallie felt her strength leaving her. She tried to break free from the chain, to no avail. Suddenly her phone vibrated again, and a new message appeared on the screen. This is your destiny. You will become a part of our world. At that moment, her consciousness began to fade. She saw the walls of the room begin to move, shrinking around her. The shadows became even more dense, and the sounds of whispers and screams reached their climax. Ali felt panic creep over her, and she realized that there was little time left. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a light appeared. It was a faint glow coming from her computer. The screen came to life again, and lines of code appeared on it. Hallie realized that this was her last chance. She gathered all her strength and began to enter commands, trying to break through this darkness. Code on the screen began to change the shape of the shadows around her, causing them to recede. The man with the chain began to disappear, his figure dissolving into the light grew brighter. The ghostly figures also began to disappear, and their whispers faded away. Hallie felt cold sweat trickle down her back. She slowly stood up and began to carefully look around the room. She didn't see anyone. The rustling continued, as if someone invisible was moving right in front of her eyes. Suddenly, all the lights in the room went out, and her phone started vibrating on the table. She took it and saw a new message. This is just the beginning. You've awakened something you don't understand. At that moment, a shrill scream rang out from the speakers of the phone, causing her to drop the device. When she bent down to pick up the phone, she noticed that the screen was now showing a video that seemed to have been shot right in her apartment. The video was dark and blurry, but Hallie clearly saw something moving in the corner of the room. She looked up. The corner was empty. The shadows in the room began to thicken and Hallie felt panic. She rushed to the exit, but the apartment door was locked. She turned back to the room, and her heart stopped. In the darkness, right in front of her, stood a figure. It was a man with lifeless eyes and a sinister grin, dressed in antique clothes. You shouldn't have touched those systems, he said in an icy voice. Now you're going to pay for your curiosity. The man took a step forward, and Hallie felt her legs give way from fear. He held out his hand, and in his palm was a long chain, glistening in the dim light. You have awakened an ancient evil. It will consume you. He tried to scream, but her voice was swallowed up by the darkness. The man threw the chain in her direction, and Hallie felt the cold links wrap around her wrists, restraining her movements. The man pulled her towards him, and Hallie found herself face to face with his lifeless eyes. We won't let you go, whispered. At that moment, Hallie heard her computer start up again. A video from her laptop's camera appeared on the screen, but instead of the usual image, it showed terrifying scenes. Her own fears and nightmares turned into reality. 
Her phone vibrated again, and she pulled it out of her pocket with difficulty. The message read, This is just the beginning. You will be our prisoner forever. Hallie felt her strength leaving her, and the chain tightened even more. The man's figure began to disappear, disappearing into the darkness. The chain remained. Hallie, gathering her last strength, rushed to the window, but it was tightly locked. The shadows in the room began to move faster, and the strange creatures she had read about on the server began to appear in the semi-darkness. Ali was on edge, but she managed to enter the last lines of code when the light started to turn blinding. She felt her strength returning, and the shadows around her began to disappear. The man with the chain disappeared into thin air, and the ghostly figures melted away like smoke. But suddenly, when Hallie thought it was over, the computer sent a message again. It's not over yet. You have awakened an ancient evil, and it will never let you go. That moment, her phone vibrated again, and a camera appeared on the screen. Hallie saw herself, but on the other side of the camera, in another room. In the mirror image, she saw her face distorted with horror. She realized that it wasn't just a video, it was a live broadcast from a parallel dimension. The room around her began to change. The walls and floors began to crack, as if the world around her was collapsing. Dark smoke was coming through the cracks, and she heard ominous whispers speaking in an unknown language. Hands began to appear out of the smoke, trying to grab her. Ali felt herself being pulled into the cracks. She struggled with all her might, but her arms were stronger. She was being pulled down into an abyss from which there was no return. She screamed, but her scream was drowned out in a chaos of whispers and laughter. In a last desperate effort, Hallie grabbed the edge of the table. The hands continued. She realized that the only way to stop it was to destroy the source of evil. She reached into her computer and entered a command to completely delete all files. The computer began to erase the data, and the light filled the room again. The shadows receded and the hands disappeared. The room returned to normal, but Hallie felt that something had changed. Her phone and computer were destroyed, and the connection to the parallel dimension was severed. She sat in silence, trembling and crying. She knew that she had caused something terrible, and although she had managed to stop it now, she was not sure that it would not return. Since then, she has never touched computers or phones again, fearing that the ancient evil would find her again.